This tutorial is to walk you through printing scripts, schedules, and reports in Script Pro. Script Pro allows for report and script templates to be customized for each staff member's needs. We will go over the documents area, setting up the details of a print template, changing and adjusting columns to show on the document, filtering the search criteria, specific print options, and printing the script. As a refresher, Elements are the building blocks to your production schedules that are built in the system. When production schedules are built, they can be executed by going live or printing the script. To start the process of creating a print template, click the Documents button at the top of the screen. The Documents area lists all templates created for your account. If this is your first time in the system, a couple default templates are available. Templates represent the specific information that needs to be seen in a script or report. For example, a PA announcer's template will have the PA script but may not need to see what is being played on the video board. To delete a template, click the Delete button on the far right hand side of the screen. To build a new template, click the New button at the top left hand corner of the screen. The first step to building the template is to name and design the header by clicking the details button. You will name the report, write up a description or any directions on how to filter the report, include any header text, and include any logos at the top left or top right of the printout. The auto save checkbox relates to the auto report that can be sent 24 and 48 hours before the game. This is covered in the Adding Users tutorial. The Auto Save checkbox also relates to the green PDF button available when building a production schedule. When clicking the button, it will pull up all templates for that game that have the Auto Save box checked. When you are done, save the details. The next step to creating the template is to set the columns shown in the template. When setting the columns, think about what the specific staff member will need to see. Boxes that are checked represent the information that will be shown on this template. You can also click the Show More text to view more options. For this example, we will set the template as if it were for a PA announcer. So we will check the element name, duration, PA script, and time of day. Once the columns have been set, we will filter and preview how the document will look. To do that, click the Search Criteria tab. Just like the columns to show, the blue Show More text gives you more options for filtering. If you want to simply print a script for a specific game, use the Production Schedule filter to find your game. To be more specific, you can filter by element type, time frame, and more. These are covered more in future tutorials and can be explored based on what you need to show in your report. When you are done filtering, click the Run button at the top left hand corner of the screen. The production schedule will now show on the right hand side of the screen representing the columns we requested to show. Columns can be adjusted by resizing the headers. When columns width and ordering is set, make sure to save the settings. This will keep the column settings so they do not have to be set later. Columns can always be adjusted and changed in the column to show area. Just simply change and then click run. Before printing, options such as changing the paper style, paper size, and overall font size are available. Event notes can also be included at the top of your script by keeping the Show Event Notes box checked. When you are ready to print, click the Print button. This will pull up a PDF version of your script that can be saved or printed. Now that the template is set, you can go to the Documents area, click on that template that you created, and skip to selecting and running the production schedule. Other templates, such as proof of performance reports, can be created, which will be covered in a future tutorial. Until next time. <laughs>